Greetings. This video demonstrates how to use my new accounting system for your business. It is different from others because it shows you how to generate quarterly comparable financial statements, which are very useful for tracking your performance and growth. This accounting system is the most stable and efficient one that I have created so far, as you can see from my previous videos. This system is exclusive for members only, but you can watch this video to learn about the benefits of this system. Are you interested? Let's get started. This is the first sheet which all of you know from previous video series. Here we have three tables let's talk about them. The first one you can edit it in this yellow square. It contains the company name, you can put yours. And it's very important to put the beginning and the ending date to let the system work properly. The second table is the lists table. Here I put the financial statements categories and subcategories. As you know the balance sheet contains assets, liabilities, and equity. I divided assets into these subcategories. Even though the cash is a part of current assets, I prefer to put it as subcategory for cash flow statement. You can put under cash all your cash accounts like banks and petty cash. As you know also, we have current assets like accounts receivable and inventories. We have long-term investments as long-term securities and notes payable. Fixed assets or property, plant, and equipment like land, building and accumulated depreciation. Intangible assets like franchises, copyright, and accumulated amortization. Liabilities are divided into these subcategories. Current liabilities like accounts payable. Long-term debt like long-term notes payable and bonds payable. Equity is divided into these subcategories. Paid in capital it will be common and preferred stock and additional paid in capital, or it will be owner or partner capital, depending on the entity. Retained earnings, which has a financial statement, it contains net income and dividends. Then we have an income statement that contains revenues and expenses. Revenues contain sales and service revenues and other revenues and gains. Expenses contain cost of goods sold, selling expenses, administrative expenses, other expenses and losses and income tax. The third table is not editable. It contains all names of this workbook sheets and links to them. And also, I have a link in each sheet to the index worksheet. Then I have the chart of account sheet. I select these accounts to use. If the account has an opening balance, I have to type it here. We have statement in category and subcategory. We have running balance depending on the journal entries. Ending balance. And the balance sheet balances. These three columns you can't edit them. Suppose that I have these accounts and their opening balances. I want to type cash. Opening balance is debit so I will type minus 13,000. It will be debited automatically. So, all accounts with debit balance, you have to put them with minus sign. So all credit balances are positive numbers. The statement is balance sheet. And the category is assets. The subcategory is cash. If you have dividends accounts it should be in the retained earnings statements and it's under dividends category and there is no subcategory for dividends. Remember that these accounts are sample accounts and you must change them to suitable for your job. Maybe I must tell you that you should put the retained earnings account under a balance sheet, don't put it under retained earnings statement to make the system work properly. And these columns have dependent lists to make data entry easier and to avoid any error. Now let's move to the journal entries sheet. Here we have date, amount, account, explanation, debit, and credit. These two columns are not editable. Here I will put my journal entries. I'll give you an example for one compound journal entry. Suppose that credit sales are $75,000 and the cash sales are $50,000 for the quarter. The entry here is debit accounts receivable for $75,000, debit cash for $50,000. Credit sales for one hand are $25,000. I will type any date let's say February 2nd. The amount in debit is $75,000. I will type minus 75,000. It will automatically type debit before 75,000. In this system every debit number you should put minus sign before the number. The column B is colored because the debit is not equal to the credit. This issue will be solved when I finish the entry. I did that to make sure that debit equals credit in all transactions. The account is accounts receivable. 
in the explanation you can type credit and cash sales. Note here that the 75,000 is displayed automatically in the debit column. Control plus apostrophe to repeat the date. Minus $50,000 as a debit amount. The account is cash. Control plus apostrophe to repeat the explanation. The same date. $125,000 as a positive number, that's mean this amount is a credit one. The account is sales. The same explanation. As you see that the debit is equals to credit, so will column be returned to white color. After finishing the journal entries, it will look like this. If you want to delete them, go to D2 cell. Press Ctrl plus Shift with the left arrow. Then the down arrow while pressing Ctrl plus Shift. Then press Delete. Before I go to the next worksheet, you must know that every account you want to put it in the journal entry, you must define it before in the Chart of Accounts worksheet. Here we have the general ledger. These are the beginning date and the ending date. You can put only the dates between these dates in the index sheet. Here you must put the account you need to display, it must be one of the Chart of Accounts worksheet. The remaining sheets are not editable. We have the trial balance at the end of the period. Here we have the quarterly income statement which displays the net income for each quarter. The quarterly retained earnings statement calculates the retained earnings at the end of each quarter. The quarterly statement of cash flows displays the cash flows from operating, investing, and financing activities for each quarter. Finally, we have the balance sheet that displays the assets, liabilities, and equity at the end of each period. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned how my new accounting system can help you manage your finances better. This system is easy to use, reliable, and powerful. It can save you time and money and give you insights into your business performance and growth. If you want to access this system and enjoy its full features, you can join my membership program by clicking the link below. Don't miss this opportunity to take your business to the next level. Subscribe now and get started with my new accounting system today.